And what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, Cheap Ludes. And let's talk about the market in NBA 2K22, my team. I keep wanting to say 21. I don't know. It's like something that's just been happening today. I, I honestly couldn't tell you what that's all about. Now, we got the NBA 75 packs today. Now, a couple of uh, things that I've been curious about in regards to the NBA 75 packs, like because they are available for six days, 14 hours, right? A, are they going to be adding moments cards into these on like Thursday? Probably, knowing 2K. And B, when they're replaced next week, is there going to be a whole new roster of cards inside of them? Like, are they going to do like, <clears throat> like, let's say next week they drop the 60s version where the three new NBA 75 cards are 60s cards and it's just all 60s guys. And then 70s, 80s, et cetera, et cetera. That would be super cool if they did it that way. I mean, the back odds have been horrendous for me anyway. A lot of people are having great luck, but it is what it is. I mean, I think it's, that would be sick to be honest, but we've seen a lot of cards fall in value. So let's start with the actual cards that came out today. Joel Embiid, you can get him as low as 38,000 MT. And although I would say he's not the greatest card in the world, I would say he's like a very mid tier center option. If you're looking for a center around that price, I think he's incredibly good. You're going to need to add some badges to him, like catch and shoot, corner specialist, but like defensively and at the rim, he's great. Um, another one I would add to him is, I think, fast twitch he doesn't have. Yeah, that's that's it. So, I mean, you don't really even have to add that many badges to him. Just a few to make him a lot better. Menace and Hustler are obviously badges I would recommend too, but an unstrippable on next gen. He's, he's good though. I mean, pretty easy to time jump shot. Like Joel Embiid's jumper is pretty solid. Even on normal timing, it's a little bit slow, but it's not that big of a deal. But for 38,000, like he's also a huge dude. I might even pick him up, honestly. And then we got DeMontis Sabonis. You can get this card for, I'm not even kidding, under 5K. Or on, not, sorry, not 5K. Right around 5K. Under six or seven is what I was trying to say. Yeah, I mean, look, there's one for 7K that's not even selling with seven minutes left. That should tell you everything you need to know. I would be willing to say if you are looking for a competent and usable center at this price range, I don't think it's a bad idea to pick up Sabonis. Sabonis is a very competent center. Is he the greatest center in the world? No, absolutely not. But he plays solid interior defense. He's a decent sized guy. Uh, 95, 96 defensive rebound. Kind of a slow jump shot, but a usable jump shot. You know what I mean? Great passer. He's got Hall of Fame Dimer, obviously. Hall of Fame Rebound Chaser. And then like Bullet Passer. He reminds me kind of that Diamond Jokic that we got earlier in the year, but just slightly better. He has five, right? Oh, he's got post playmaker too. But gold catch and shoot, you do have to give him some badges as well. But I mean, for this price point, you could do a lot worse, honestly. Like, he's really solid. Same with Valchunas. Valchunas is going for a little bit more around like 7 or 8K. He is one of the, oh, I guess not anymore. He is one of the best budget centers in this game. Like, six foot 11. What is his jump shot? That's kind of what I need to check because I don't remember exactly what his jumper is. So he's got set shot 16, same as Bobby Jones and Tom Chambers. It's actually not that bad. Bill Lambeer upper isn't great, but it's not terrible. Um, is it on normal timing as well? It is. It's not that bad. He's a really, really good card, though. Like set shooter is kind of a worthless badge at this point. Like every card has set shooter, but it's still fine. Like catch and shoot corner specialist. He's a big big player as well six foot 11 265 a unit some would say hall of fame brick wall and box so if you're looking to set a bunch of screens and run your offense around screens like Valchunas is really solid um good defensive interior badges he does have gold limitless spot up as well so he's gonna be able to crack deep threes you know i take that back i might even pick up Valchunas to run as my bench center what's his speed looking like 68 not even that bad Valchunas is actually incredibly good and Here's the key. He plays for the Pelicans. This is going to become important later on down the line. When we get spotlight sins, probably in season four at some point, I would guess, right? Yeah, because that'll be around like, yeah, probably around season four. Valchunas is going to go up in price a bit because New Orleans has a terrible history of centers outside of like, who? Tyson Chandler? Like David West, who's six foot nine? Like Valchunas might not be a bad card to pick up. Especially while he's like 6K, you know what I mean? Uh, who else? Jaron Jackson Jr. This card's a little bit more expensive because he is a little bit more hyped. He's a very solid budget center. He does have some issues. He's not the greatest defender, but that's about it. Um, 
as far as his jump shot, I haven't personally tested it out, so I can't tell you if it's solid or not. Let me see if anybody else who I have used like runs a similar jump shot to him. I don't remember exactly. Base 109. Oh, he's got the Rashawn Holmes jump shot. It's not that bad. It's not bad at all. Yeah, I mean, this card is really solid. If you're looking for like a complimentary budget power forward that you can slot in your starting and bench unit, or if you've been using like Christian Wood and you kind of want to replace him or something, like, yeah, Jaron Jackson's solid. Who else do we got over here? Desmond Bain. I mean, he's okay. He's going for discard value. If you want to pick him up, go for it. He's decent. Uh, Terrence Davis, same thing. Now let's look at the NBA 75 guys. We'll start with the guys that came out today. Larry Bird. He is a little bit sluggish and slow from what I understand, but he's a pure spot up shooter. I mean, that's what you're getting with Larry Bird. If you accept that, then he's going to be solid. He can dribble a little bit too. I mean, he might be a little bit slow, but he's not the worst. Like 88 speed's not great, but it's not horrible. You know what you're getting when it comes to Larry Bird at this point. You know what I mean? This person put 11 hoffs on him. For what? What did you put on him? Probably set shooter. <laughs> set shooter sounds about right. No, Larry Bird probably had set shooter already. Difficult shots and something else. I mean, whatever. If you want to pick him up, I mean, why not? Let's just start decade by decade here. Let's go to the 60s. George Mikan is super cheap right now. Like, he's one of the best budget centers in this game, in my opinion. This one's not quite as cheap. The glitch one is probably the same. Um, as far as price-wise, it's probably like 10K less. It is the exact same card, though, is what I meant to say. He's solid. Nate Thunder Thurman, super cheap as well. He's one of the best budget centers in this game. Also, he's super fast. Uh, yeah, no one cares about Tiny Archibald. Moses Malone, I'm curious what his price is. Moses Malone is, is decent. He's not really worth this price, I would say, though. And I, This is coming from a fan of the card quite a bit. Clyde Drexler. Yeah, the NBA 75 guys didn't really drop too much in price, to be honest. Like, I don't think D-Rob really dropped. Not really. Let's check Ewing. I've heard he's going for a lot. First off, Ewing has the absolute most... I mean, I was going to say it's the most fire card art. It's literally fire. It's like lava or like charcoal briquettes or something back there. Either way... This card art is heat. I'm probably going to pick him up just for the card art alone. Like, if this was one patch ago, I would use Patrick Ewing as a post scorer, but post scoring just really isn't the thing right now. He, what's his, what, what is his release exactly? I, I don't know, dude. Patrick Ewing's a tough one. He's got Patrick Ewing base. Oh, God. Yep. It's probably pretty bad. Let me know in the comments if you used his jump shot. I haven't got a chance yet. He's going for about 15K, which isn't terrible for, for what he brings to you. I'm probably going to pick him up anyway, just for funsies. Uh, Tim Duncan, do you drop in price? I mean, there's a lot of Tim Duncans, dude. Like a lot of them. Ray Allen. There's not very many Ray Allens either. I don't know. It didn't have a noticeable like impact on a lot of the pink diamond or above guys like james harden is a lot cheaper than he was before i mean if you're interested in that you can pick him up uh that's about it though but if we're looking at the non nba 75 versions of the guys they did go down a lot nate thurman's at like 36k so he's about 10k cheaper than his nba 75 probably the same with moses yeah oh i'm so glad i sold this card for 50k <laughs> i think this is the one i sold last night <laughs> awesome dude that's so sick this one's 59 it's got an unlimited contract and an unlimited shoe i don't really want moses malone back like that though i mean if you're interested in moses malone i mean by all means go pick him up like he's cheap i don't think he's worth picking up maravich was in the packs i think yeah there's not very many of him um see elgin baylor not very many of him either I don't think any of the rest of these guys. Rick Barry, do you guys really care what's up with Rick Barry? Yeah, I, I didn't think so. Signature series LeBron. Um, I mean, he's way cheaper, but I guarantee we get a new LeBron card. If not next week, the week after. It's just almost a foregone conclusion. You know, I was expecting a lot of these cards to take a way bigger market hit. See, what I think is very interesting when we get to guys like Dwayne Wade, there's not actually very many of them up, but like... They just start dying in price almost immediately, like when the packs come out. Like, it's just the weirdest thing. There is MT to be made, though. A lot of these guys are going to go up in price. Maybe not by very much, but by a bit regardless. 
this LeBron Brown, he's, I mean, he's LeBron. They're always going to be kind of expensive. I'm interested to see what's up with doll shades. Like there's a lot more doll shades up than I thought. A lot of people are just selling the one that they already have though. Like you can kind of tell. I have a theory that 2K kind of pumps some of the cards into the market. Now this is an un substantiated theory it's just my own uh there is absolutely zero proof to this and i could be completely wrong about this i could but my theory has always been that 2k puts additional cards onto the marketplace to make it look like they're getting drawn from packs more i've thought this for a long period of time i don't think every single one that you buy off the marketplace is directly from somebody who pulls it i think there are a couple per high tier card and i think it's just the high tier cards for the most part that'll that are added by 2k it would make sense right i would do that like if i was them i would add a few on there especially if the packs were quote unquote bad and everyone was having terrible luck i would throw some up there to make it look like they were coming out of packs more sometimes i'll go on the market and i'll see how many like kds or like whatever's in packs at the moment are up and it makes me want to go open more packs because i think i have a chance so like i said i can't say for certain if that's real but i've always thought that i could be totally wrong who knows? Yeah, Giannis not coming down in price, really. I think Mystic Harden was in there, too. John Stockton's really cheap. Was Dino Raja NBA 75? <laughs> Any of the maxed out guys? Yeah, like Tim Duncan, Ray Allen, Nate Tiny Archibald. All those guys are down in price. Kareem, Alex Caruso, who's number five out of the 75, if I'm not mistaken. No, he's not. I mean, it's interesting to see what's going to happen. Like... It would be really, really cool if they did the decade thing. I'm hoping that's the case. But look, if you're looking for any of these cards or any of these cards you've been having your eye on for a long period of time, like they're way cheaper tonight. I would say when it comes to the bid cards, like, yeah, they might be slightly cheaper, but I think they'll come down in price more and more as the weeks, you know, kind of blend on. So if you have your eye on someone like, I mean, Giannis will probably stay expensive. Like, T-Mac will probably stay expensive. But some of the other guys that are bid cards, they might drop a little bit, like Flash D-Rob or something. Oh, God, yeah, no, he's not dropping at all. Dude put three gold badges and got 300K. Anthony Davis, I forgot he was an NBA 75 player. I forgot about that. My boy T-Mac really didn't make it. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Oh, yes, the most undeserving member of the NBA 75 besides Damian Lilly, Kawhi Leonard. Uh, he's. OK, there's not that many of these. Up. I really expected there to be more. I'm kind of shocked, honestly. It's probably like a kajillion Scotty Pippins. There's not the Amethyst. I swear the Amethyst just do not drop as heavy as you think they would. What about Clyde Drexler? Yeah, he's not really dropping from packs either. We're already kind of seeing a market recovery now that the uh, what I call prime pack time is over. Prime pack time would be about 4 p.m. Pacific time. So 6 p.m. Central time, 7 p.m. Eastern time. That's when the most of each card are up in a given night on pack release day, at least in my opinion. Now we're starting to get to a recovery period. So if you're looking to hunt for some cards, now is kind of your last chance before they get a little too expensive. A lot of these guys are really, really cheap if you're looking for IT. The other thing is a lot of people are putting up their cards because of the market crash, which I never understood why people do that. Like, I don't know. If you're looking for an Isaiah Thomas with like a unlimited shoe or unlimited contracts or badge upgrades, yeah, I mean, now's probably the time to pick those up. Like, let's, I guarantee there's one with like a, this one has an unlimited contract and is 38,000 MT, which is a little bit expensive. I guarantee you could find one for a little bit less later on in the evening. If you're looking for George Mikan, this is a good time too. You could probably find one for like 30K with like an unlimited shoe or something. Probably not very many badge upgrades, but it's worth looking if you're interested in Mikan. Mikan's still a really good center. I'm gonna pick up Valchunas and run him as my bench center though. I'm actually really excited about it. Now, how much better is he than like, uh, Vucevic, probably not much. I mean, he's better defensively, certainly. I'm going to replace Christian Wood and Vucevic, though, with uh, Jaron Jackson and Valchunas. Valchunas, I want to pick up anyway, just because I think he's going to hold value for Spotlight Sims. As always, it's been your boy, Cheap Ludes, rambling on about the market for seemingly no reason. Check back tomorrow. You know I'll be dropping more videos. You know I'll be streaming tomorrow night if you guys are interested. Am I going to be streaming 2K? 
or am I going to be streaming something else? I'm going to post a like a poll asking everyone. Whatever you guys want to see, I'll do it. But uh, have a good night, guys. Peace.